Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be giving you a review on the Fuel 925 Velo Compact Bike Rack. So I bought this bike rack for about £330 off of Amazon, but it ranges from about £320 to £380, depending on what website you get it from. Out of the box, it's really easy to put together. All you have to do is put a few screws in and then a few washers, and then you're good to go. It also comes with a clear instruction manual to help you do it, just in case you do get a bit confused. So, for this clip, I'm going to be showing you how to put the bike rack onto the tow bar. And as you can see, it's folded up, which is why it's called the Velo Compact. And this basically just so you can put it in shed or your boot without it taking up too much space. So, what you want to do, sand this little bar at the back, and then you lift this up, and then, as you can see, it knocks into there. So you have to lift it up, push it back down, and then you tighten up these so they feel tight. And then what you want to do is, so there's a little trigger under this handle, so you push the trigger in and then pull the handle up. And then we're going to lift up the tow bar so that the little space underneath the handle sits on the tow bar. Something like that. And then you can pull the handle down like that. It takes a bit of force to push the handle down but once it's on it won't lift up. And as you can see here there's a little lock barrel on the handle. And when you get the bike right it comes with two keys. One for this and then one for these. And what you do, you push that into there, lock it. And then even when you pull the trigger underneath, the handle won't come up. So that means no one can get the bike rack off of your car. And then the last step to put the bike rack on is to just pull out these bits. This is where the wheels will sit on the bike. Pull the lights out and then do the same to the other side. And the reason these fold in is because it's a Velo Compact, it's just easy to put into storage. And then they fold out so you can put bigger bikes on. And also over here, this is a seven pin and it basically just goes into the electric plug socket underneath your car so that the lights work on the bike rack. If you have a 13 pin plug, then you have to get a seven pin adapter to put it on. If you do find that once the bike rack is on, it wobbles about a little bit, you can lift up the handle again and then adjust this knob here and that basically just decides how tight it is around the tow bar. So now we have the bike rack onto the tow bar, I'm not gonna show you how to put the bikes onto the bike rack. So the 2 and 925 Velo Compact holds two bikes. There is another Velo Compact, the 927, and that holds three bikes, but I'll be showing you how to put the two bikes on today. Okay, so firstly, you wanna make sure the nylon straps are undone, and these are basically just gonna go around the wheel to make sure it doesn't sway from side to side. And what you wanna do is there's one here and there's one on the other side, and you just wanna make sure they're undone like that. Okay, so obviously, because this bike holds two bikes, there's two arms that are attached to it, and I'm gonna be showing you, for this example, the furthest away bit. So I'm gonna get the longest arm, and I'm gonna undo it, so that the gap in here is big enough to fit a bike in and I'll probably end up doing it all of the way. And then once it's fully undone, you just want to lift it up, ready to put the bike in. Okay, so I'm going to be using my hardtail for this. My full suspension still hasn't come. It should be coming very, very soon though. It's currently sitting at the UK borders, ready to get passed through. But anyway, I'm going to lift the bike up onto the wheel slots, like that. And then you want to get the frame holder, put it over the frame, and then do it up so it's tight. And then we're going to do up the nylon straps around the wheels. So you want to just put it through the spokes like that. And then you're going to undo this clip here. Push it through a little bit just so it's fairly in. And then you can start to do that. And as you can see it's tightening each time you lift this up. So you're going to make sure that it's tight enough so it doesn't sway around on the bike rack. I'm going to now do that to the other side. And as you can see now, the bike's really stable on the bike rack. It doesn't wobble about at all. So we can know that as we're driving along, we won't be wobbling about and shaking onto the other bike. The last step to putting the bike on is you just want to put the key in here and then lock it so that no one can undo this and obviously take your bike. And now, as you can see, when you spin this, this doesn't actually come undone. It just stays on. As I mentioned earlier, the bike rack does have lights which show when you're braking or indicating. And to make them work and turn on, you want to get this plug and then just plug it into the bottom of your car. So I've now attached a plug to the car and as you can see I've turned the electrics on and the lights are working. So if I indicate left you can see that the lights are flashing which shows we've made it indicating. So the lights work as usual on your car would. Another really handy feature on this bike rack is that if you stand on this and push quite hard you can see that the bike rack tilts down and it will still support the weight of the bike and this means you can now access the boot which I'll show you so because the bike rack is tilted down I can still lift up the boot and get anything I wanted out of there and then obviously shut it and then to put the bike rack back into place all you do 
lift it up and you'll hear it click. Like that. Okay, so to get the barrack off, we're basically just going to reverse all the processes that we've done to get it back on. So, we're going to unlock the arm. Then we're going to undo it just a little bit, not too much yet. Then we're going to undo the knife and straps from the wheel. Make sure they're both undone. And then once they're off, you can undo the thing. Make sure you're holding the bike as this comes off, otherwise it'll just fall away. Then you can lift the bike off and obviously go right. Okay, so to fold the bike rack back up, to put it back in the boot or the shed, wherever you're keeping it, you're going to fold both the arms in, make sure these are fully done up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to unlock the handle as we did before, push the trigger underneath and then just lift the bike rack off. And if you did have the plug plugged in, you can obviously unplug that. And then you just want to push the handle down like that, undo these. Then you're going to stand on the bar at the back again, lift up this bar, and then you'll feel it come up. And then you can just fold it down like that. The last step we want to do is to just fold the lights and the wheel holders back in like that. And then obviously do it on both sides. Once it's folded up, the bike rack is quite a good size and it will fit in most boots. This is a Nissan Cash Buy and it fits perfectly into this, like so. And then obviously just shut your boot, keep it in there till the next time you need it. Okay everyone, that is the end of the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what video you'd like me to do next. I think I should be getting my new bike soon, so I'll be doing unboxing and bike checks. And then in about two weeks, maybe even a week, I'll be getting back to riding again, just easing into it, because obviously I'm getting my cast off from my broken wrist. But if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. If you do want to watch a video of mine, on the top right hand of your screen, right now, I'll see you next week.